You've probably heard of the Monty Hall problem before. You've got three doors, behind one of them is a car, and the other two are goats. You select one at random, and then the host opens up one of the doors that you didn't choose, revealing a goat. Then he asks if you'd like to switch or stay with your original choice. Now, you've probably heard that it's somehow better for you to switch, but what if I told you it wasn't? What if I told you that whether you switch or not, the odds of you winning are still 50-50? That it objectively and mathematically does not matter what you do? but only if the host doesn't know what door hides the car. This seems a little ridiculous. How could the host's knowledge change what your odds are? But it objectively does. If the host knows where the car is, your odds of winning when switching are 66.7%, but if he doesn't, then you only have a 50% chance. To see how this is true, let's look at what the results would be if you played 3,000 games and you always switched. Of those 3,000 games, there will be 1,000 games where you pick the car first, switch, then lose, but then there will be 2,000 games where you pick a goat first, and then the host opens one of the other doors. Now, if the host doesn't know which door has the car behind it, he's just going to pick a door at random, and half the time, or 1,000 out of the remaining 2,000 games, he's going to accidentally reveal the car early. Whoops! Game over, I guess. Which means you'll have a thousand games where you pick the car first, switch, and then lose, a thousand games where you pick a goat first and then the host accidentally reveals the car, and then another thousand games where the host doesn't reveal the car, you switch, and you win. So because the host can accidentally reveal the car, there are actually only two thousand games where you get to switch at all, and only a thousand of them you win, meaning an exact 50% chance of winning. But if the host knows where the car is, he's never going to accidentally reveal it. Those 1,000 games where the host accidentally ended the game early, he's now going to pick the other door. Remember, this scenario only happens when you pick the wrong door to begin with, which means if the host knows, we just added another 1,000 scenarios where you should switch. Which means in total, we have the 1,000 games where you switched and lost, the original 1,000 games where you switched and won, and now an additional 1,000 games where switching wins you the car. This, to me, is the most intuitive explanation of why switching is the better strategy. It's because the host would have accidentally ended the game early one third of the time if he didn't know where the car was. But since he does know, every single one of those instances is now a game where he's doing the mathematical equivalent of going, all right, let's open this. Nope, not that one, not that one, this one, this one. I meant this one. I meant this one. I, I meant, I meant to open this one. I, I totally meant to open this one to begin with.